Hello and welcome to my channel where I do guides for On One Foot Road 2019 and other stuff. <laughs> Today we are going to do a few black and white conversions. So we should just get started so we have a chance to go through them all. <laughs> I'm going to up the shadows on this little landscape photo. I'm going to do some contrast. Maybe down the blacks just a bit there. It's a bit too much maybe. So, I feel it's lagging a bit. That's too bad. <laughs> um, I'm gonna up the saturation and maybe some vibrance just to get a glow feeling into this image. Let's go up on the tint. That's too much. Even for me, that magenta is too much. So, yeah, that's the initial toning. Let's disable lens correction for now. Um, Let's set the white point. So I'm gonna enable the clipping viewer. I'm gonna check if it clips and where it clips. So it's, let's go up just slightly on the whites. I need to go slowly because it suddenly clips. So yeah, I think that's fine either way. So let's disable the clipping warning again. Let's increase just a little bit on the shadows yeah to around there so that's fine for the initial toning i feel you should just go into the effects and i've added some things that would take too long to add through this video so it's just a dynamic contrast with the for for the three line and the sky there's a glow it's basically not even that high but it's it's a glow filter to just make some softness. Okay, so that's it, yeah. We're gonna add, I think we're just gonna go to the black and white. And I really want to bring up uh, the tree line. So I think I'm gonna go up on the brightness and I wanna dim down the sky a lot actually. Let's just go up on the tree line here. Let's go down more on the sky. Try and get kind of a dramatic feeling. So this is okay. I guess maybe I'm actually gonna go down on the reds as well. And maybe the yellow. Yeah, it's something like that. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna add the color adjustment even though this is a black and white. So. I'm gonna up the yellows in brightness. That was the orange, but uh, up the yellow. Let's up the green as well. Let's try and bring down that uh, sky even more. Let's move that down in the stack. Like that. Yeah, let's go through it one more time. Yeah, that's kind of okay. A little more there. Some more there. Okay, I think I like that. So let's add a tone announcer. So we're gonna try to pull up the shadows just a little bit. So let's go in there. Yeah, didn't do much, but just a little bit there. Uh, let's don't do anything about the blacks, but I'm gonna go up on the whites. But before I do, I need to enable clipping warning again because, yeah, we are already clipping there. Okay, so I'm not gonna go in there after all. <laughs> so let's just go down on the highlights just a little bit. This little thin line, I don't really care about it. Okay, so what I could do to make a more contrasty sky was to maybe do a gradient but if I do I don't think that uh, dynamic contrast works so maybe I should just paint that out from the sky and I don't care if I hit the trees so let's look at the mask here shortly yeah Something like this. You don't need to be overly thorough. Okay, that's fine. 
so let's add that gradient i'm going to go into the local and add adjustment i'm just going to go up and select uh, the adjustable gradient and let's add it and this will bring down the sky quite a lot so yeah that's <laughs> this is without and this is with the gradient so it creates some kind of drama some kind of depth maybe maybe we should uh, go down just a bit there now uh, let's look at this mask yeah that mask is fine maybe go up slightly there okay and let's go and paint out just a bit on those trees over here so i'm just gonna hit it once maybe twice since this is a black and white it's not really that big a deal if you paint some gradient in some trees it doesn't really matter in my opinion so let's just show that mask again yeah that's fine okay so maybe some contrast maybe we want to go down on the highlights and i actually kind of want to go negative on the structure or at least try just to create kind of a dreamy sky maybe let's check the before and after so i kind of like it uh, brighter so let's not go in and do this crazy edit here that's fine uh, all I want to do now is uh, get some shadows or up the shadows there so I'm actually going to do another uh, adjustment I'm going to go lighten and that's too much but let's do some with the shadows here and I'm just going to paint that in in the tree line and of course we can go down again if it's too much yeah let's do try and do a better job on top in the trees yeah it's a bit heavy so i'm gonna go down on the either the shadows or the overall uh, right uh, opacity but something like that we need some contrast in there now that we did the shadow so that's a bit too much contrast yeah this is better now we have some details inside there so that's good it's a pretty dark area there <laughs> let's just go up just a little bit there to around there i think and i'll rather go down on the shadows like that and there's some strange stuff going on in that tree so i'm just gonna paint out from the top there and i'm gonna make a bigger brush to make it seem like it's fading and maybe go down on the opacity while i'm doing that yeah and let's add a vignette let's go big softy it's gonna be a bit much but let's see here yeah it's a bit too much i'm gonna go up in the size just a little bit to around there and up in the brightness and if i can i'm gonna move that net down just a bit there no it's okay okay so that's this image it's not perfect i would do a lot of dodge and burn and maybe brightness now just a little bit more oh uh, that's this adjustment so maybe go up on the shadows on the snow let's just add a bit more here yeah so that's fine i would say that's okay you know uh, let's move over to the next one okay so it's this one <laughs> this is kind of difficult but let's try and get the best out of it uh, and there's something some terrible shadows up in her face that i need to take care of first before i do anything 
just to see where I will land. Okay, so add a adjustment and I'm gonna put it on. Yeah, I'm gonna up the shadows and I'm gonna do it so, totally crazy. Let's go down on the size to around and yeah, maybe, yeah. And I'm just gonna try and tune the shadow problem a bit because it is a problem for this image. If I don't do it and then go into the black and white, it's gonna be really strong on the blacks there. And I'm afraid it's gonna be that either way. So I would probably need to spend a lot of time cleaning out that shadow. Let's try that. So it's just that got them stripe over here. No, that's no good. You need a bigger brush. And maybe go down on the opacity to around 27 <laughs> and just go in on that line. And this is just something that would take a lot of time, so I'm not going to be using too much time on this now. And this shadowy area will be a problem. Let's just go up on the exposure as well. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Let's go down on the contrast. Down on the blacks. So yeah, this is this is hard. So my employer was uh, the ones who arranged this concert, and uh, I nailed most of the images. But there was this one of her in that pose, and I didn't manage to nail it because I was on the wrong side of her face. And just put this really strong shadow from the light hitting most of her face, except there. So that's the reason. I should have done something with my aperture settings that might have helped, but it didn't. So, or I didn't do anything with it. Okay, so I see that we are creating a big problem here, as expected. So I'm just going to try and tone that out, the things that are too strong here. Just make it fade better. Let's go down on saturation. Okay, so all we see is a big black uh, blob. So I'm going up. Just going up again. Okay, so let's do the saturation again. So yeah, it kind of helps. Let's check the before. This is the after. So we need to tone it down just a bit there. So let's do that. And yeah, let's tone it down. Oh, let's do the uh, pasty maybe. Yeah, that feels kind of more natural. As far as I can get it, I guess. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> let's go into the effects. Uh, no, actually, let's process this in the develop module first. So we're going to go up on the shadows. Not that much, maybe, but around there somewhere. Let's go down just a bit on the highlights and up the contrast a lot. So to around there, maybe. Ah, oh, let's drop the blacks. Yeah, I'm going to tweak the temp later, but I think I might want to go in with some saturation and vibrance. Kind of want to go over to the blues for now, just to get a more neutral toned image and let's go into the color adjustment i don't think i can do anything about that but uh, we can try and go down just a bit on the reds maybe and brighten that red and orange up yeah to somewhere around there maybe okay so i kind of want to bring down the t-shirt as well make it a bit more contrasty and darker and if there's any magenta I want to go down 
on that as well. So yeah, um, I kind of want to do glow. Let's do glow. <laughs> I probably need to go down on the opacity a bit, but we can try it. Yeah, I don't think it works for this image. No, let's not use it. Let's just do a little sharpening here. So I'm going to go to screen and then I want to add some film grain. I'm going to go for subtle. I find that film grain usually works well on this kind of contrasty images. Okay, and let's go in and do the black and white hair. So let's go up on the skin tones just a bit there and drop pretty much everything else something like this now we are starting to create a bit of contrast in this image and i kind of like it actually and let's see tone announcement and before i do the tone enhancer i'm actually gonna drop the vignette on top there and go for big softy but i know that i'm gonna need to move the vignette just a bit so let's do that i'm gonna move it over and over and over to about there i think and let's go up on the feather again and by doing that we are contrasting her with the background and the drummer so i kind of like that and speaking of the drummer i'm just gonna paint in some fake vignette here <laughs> I'm just gonna drop it over him there so suddenly there's a lot of depth in this picture and I kind of like that that's good that works well for this image to kind of make it more dimensional so that's done and the wingnet is done so let's play with the tone and answer just gonna go slightly up on the shadow maybe even more here Let's look at the contrast. So the thing is, the more contrast I bring out, the more this problem area will show. So I think maybe I'm not gonna go up too much on the contrast, or I could actually paint it out on her face. Maybe do something like that. let's go up just a bit on the shadows and we can check the compression as well so now that brings out some of the background but i think i might go up just a bit more on the shadows yeah i kind of like this um let's go and paint this drummer away even more here there about yeah so that's her i kind of like it it's too bad that black spot is there but yeah what can we do let's move on to the next so this is michael polson i think his name is uh, from wallbeat friggin awesome band <laughs> so let's just start toning him i think the color balance must be wrong here it's really yellow so let's go to uh, to around there actually and I'm not going to do anything about the vibrance there, but I think maybe I should go down just a bit on the tint. I can add tint later, so that's no big worry. So let's go in and we need to do... Yeah, let's do something about the colors. I want that blue maybe darker and I kind of want the orangey kind of brighter. Let's go into the yellow as well, move that up. So he's gonna look a bit flat maybe, but we will adjust that later. So I think maybe something around there. And let's go down and try and tweak so we can get rid of some of the blue in the background and maybe kind of create some dimension between the background and Michael Polson there, so. Let's go down on the magenta as well. He might have a magenta in his face and actually think he does. Right around there. 
So again, we have that problem with the shadows. So yeah, we're going to leave that for now. And we're going to go in with the black and white directly here. So I kind of want to keep the skin tone where it is and maybe go down practically anything else here. So yeah, that's that's nice. Let's check the tone here. Um, let's just add some extra blacks here now, right away. I'm going to do that in the tone announcer as well. So uh, let's go back into the develop module and kind of do the basic black and white tone here now. So I'm going to drop the highlights, not too much though, I need to be careful here. Uh, up the shadows, let's go down on the blacks, let's set the uh, decent white points. So we are clipping some inside of his arm, so yeah, that helped. So that's okay, I think I'll go up on the shadows even more and boost the contrast here. So we are st starting to get somewhere now. Uh, let's uh, let's add something here. Uh, what am I looking for? Sharpening, yeah. So the problem with this image and the reason why it didn't reach the customer is basically because it's a bit unsharp around the forehead and the eyes. So it should have been sharper. So I might have focused on the guitar or something. I I'm not really sure. It's looking real sharp on the chest there. But he's kind of just slightly unsharp in the face around the eyes. So that's the reason. I'm going to go up on the amount there. But I don't want to sharpen everything else. So we are actually going to go and create a, a gradient of center thing. So just going to pull that tighter in. And let's invert it. <laughs> Just want to go in really tight. Do something like this. Go out just a bit there. So I don't care if the shoe are sharp or not. So that's not important for me at all. But I'm going to extend or go out just a bit. Not too much. Let's check the mask. So yeah, go down just a bit here something like that and just widen it to something like this I think that's yeah that's pretty nice actually and let's copy this mask because I kind of want to create uh, a vignette just with this mask so I'm gonna paste it in and I'm actually gonna invert it and let's go down on the blacks and up the contrast here so that really creates a big separation here so i like that a lot maybe gonna paint it in a bit better on the side here so let's do that just gonna go over with a soft brush here so yeah it's starting to look a bit better let's go into the effects and even though i made a vignette now i'm gonna add one still so let's go there and I'm just gonna go with the subtle try that first it kind of works but I want to move it so let's go down so I can see the vignette and I want to shrink it and let's go to the square with a little dot inside and I kind of want to creep down <laughs> like that maybe go up a bit on the feather and down on the brightness to something like this. Now I think maybe I should add a tone enhancer and kind of <laughs> go up on the shadows again because it's a bit too dark actually. So maybe two around there. Maybe even go up on the exposure. Something like this. Yeah, that works. So I won't do kind of a vignette up here because it's that wouldn't work because you can clearly see that there are stage lights going directly up in the frame there. So in my opinion that wouldn't really work. It would create kind of a too obvious vignette. Not that this isn't obvious around here but 
there's no direct light source going on here so it's kind of credible anyway that's this dude i would need to improve his face maybe do something about the shadows maybe sharpen it more and maybe create more contrast on the arms uh, i think i painted that in earlier so let's uh, let's take a look at that yeah i made uh, black more obvious there so let's go in and kind of make it even more black make that tattoos pop a little so yeah that's fine uh yeah so this would almost be good enough to send to a customer i would maybe need to brighten it up just a little bit more so let's go in and do that on the global exposure here that's okay let's go to the next one uh this is joey belladonna from anthrax uh he's a really cool dude but uh, his face has no <laughs> contrasty features the face is just a baby face so it's really difficult to make any kind of good image with him because you can clearly see even though there's a tiny bit contrast there it's such a soft contrast well anyway we're gonna try and do the best we can with this image so let's down the blues let's go up on the contrast and jump down on the blacks let's go down on the highlights he's turning yellow i don't like that so yeah what to do let's go down even more on the white balance here and by doing that i can see that we are having some issues with the tint there so let's go yeah to to something like that let's push up some shadows that's a bit too much i'm gonna go down just a bit on the exposure for now i might move it around later but let's go down okay so that's fine let's jump into the effects and i clearly made the vignette earlier so let's use that and go down it's a bit too obvious <laughs> we can't have that but we can maybe drop down the blacks and the shadows and go back and tweak it so use a bigger feather i'm gonna add a color adjustment and we're gonna try and get rid of that greenish tone there so let's go down on saturation and maybe down on the brightness as well do the same here down on the brightness and i guess there's orange in these tones as well so maybe something like that and the vignette let's not do it this obvious so i'm gonna go down in the opacity here so yeah that's kind of balanced okay so in case there are some blues here i'm going to pull that down as well uh, let's go into the greens and the yellow just to make sure i'm going to drop the magenta yeah and drop the saturation on the magenta as well let's do glow yeah i kind of like that actually but let's also do dynamic contrast and I kind of like that as well. I'm just going to drop down just a little bit on it. Let's add the vignette and see what we can do with the, the surrounding background there. So I'm going to go for big softy this time. And I want to show the vignette here so I can see where it is. I kind of want to go tight here. So to something like that maybe. And just going to move it up slightly here. Uh, something like this and let's go up on the feather again so yeah something like that let's add a tone announcer and i'm gonna go up on the shadows something like that and now let's add the black and white so as you could clearly see i took a different route to this image because i wanted to set the tones about right before adding the black and white so that's the only reason why i did it this way so i'm not sure dropping the green is smart 
No, let's leave it. And maybe we need to leave the yellow. I'm gonna check. Yeah, we should probably leave that as well. Maybe go up. Yeah, somewhere around there. Okay, so that's so far. So let's go back into the Tome Monster. I'm gonna drop the blacks now. And I would say that this is as close as I want to do now. The video is starting to be really long, but for all of the images that I've done now, it's the fine tuning that's left. So for me, the fine tuning is the sharpness, it's uh, the depth. You really want to create a good depth in your black and white images. For me, the only reason doing black and white is to create depth or really soft so you can go the opposite way but it's usually the more extreme ways at least that's for me when i create my black and whites i usually go for extremely soft or extremely contrasty so i would actually add one more thing and that's back to that film grain again i think it might work for this image as well yeah it does in my opinion I would maybe mask it around in a kind of a vignette feel there as well. So I didn't have the grain in the background. Okay, I think that was all of the images. So let's go back and check out from start to finish here. So let's do the landscape. So yeah, this turned out to be a bit bright. I would probably go down on the exposure and I would try and uh, brighten the snow just a bit more. And I would remove all of those tweaks and i would uh, do the touch and burn and mostly to create definition in the tree line and up in the sky especially in the tree line i would try and dodge and burn there a lot so that i would spend an hour or two maybe uh this one is the one we had to do now it's uh it's okay uh this one is actually quite good I'm actually impressed that I was able to make it look this sharp after all. So yeah, I like that one. And this one, we have the problem with his face where it's so little definitions or contrast. It's all melting together in a weird way. Uh, not that it looks weird, but in the camera he looks like um, kind of too soft. And yeah, that's it for this video, I guess. So if you want to buy on one foot for all 2019, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you want to watch more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. And thanks a lot for watching. If you made it through the whole video, I'm really happy. Anyway, goodbye and I hope to see you again.